Hey everyone, Stephanie from Elevate Yourself Fitness. I wanted to introduce you to our little miracle rainbow baby, Beckett. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't done a video sooner, but um, as you know, being a new mom is tough and I generally don't have makeup or anything but pajamas on. So um, <laughs> I thought I was getting ready today and I knew I needed to get my video done for all of you guys that are asking um, about where we're at. So um, Beckett is um, 16 days old today. So here he is. <laughs> He's a little bit grouchy today but his little hat says Beckett and then here's his shirt it says hello world I'm Beckett you can't see it he's being a little bit hey can you look can you say hello say hello oh too much sun there we go so um, I'll just kind of tell you a little bit quickly about um, kind of how things went with the delivery and everything. So I was induced on February 24th. Yeah, February 24th. Um, and for 24 hours, I kind of had contractions and um, they wanted to wait and check me. And then when they checked me the next day, I hadn't progressed at all. Um, and they actually diagnosed me with, I believe it's CPD, which is a narrow pelvis. And they said that, um, they were quite certain he wouldn't come out um, naturally and that I would need a C-section. So it was a very tough decision um, to keep going ahead with being it with the inducement or um, if we should go ahead with a C-section. But um, they basically felt like it was safest to have the C-section. Um, he also was not a small baby, um, as you can tell. He was actually nine pounds, one ounce. Um, and 20 inches long and he was born on January 25th at 2 29 in the afternoon so um, they had kind of we decided on the c-section about two hours earlier um, and they took me in shortly after and he was here so um, once they were in there they said that they were pretty sure that um, it wouldn't have happened on its own just with the way that my pelvis was as well as um, my everything wasn't really progressing so they said my uterus was still really thick um, and things like that so they felt good about the decision that they made um, as far as recovery my recovery is going pretty good I um, my incisions healing well but it is still really sore like it feels like a big bruise um, it's definitely a little easier to get around now the first few days were pretty tough um, with the pain but um, if anyone's had a c-section I guess you know that um, it does get better so I'm hoping in the next few weeks it'll continue to feel better and a little bit less pain but I'm doing overall really well um, and so is Beckett so when we left the hospital he was about eight pounds um, nine ounces and last week he was eight eleven and we have another appointment on Monday, so we'll see where he's at, but I feel like he's probably at least nine and a half pounds. He's definitely back to his birth weight, I'm sure. Um, he loves to eat, he likes to sleep, but he's actually extremely alert and sleeps a lot less than um, I think a lot of newborn babies do. He often just sits there and looks around and stares and he's very curious. So um, he's also very strong. He's been holding his head up um, off and on since the day he was born um, today he was just on my shoulder when I was burping him and he held his head up for a good minute straight he just was like sitting there with his head up so he is very very strong um, a nice healthy big boy and um, we're just so excited to have our rainbow baby here uh, for anybody who has been following our journey <laughs> I guess I should show you his hair he also has really cute dark hair there we go and his noises oh are you saying hi are you saying hi let's go yeah say hello oh, oh that's a very sad face he doesn't really like the sun um so uh what was i saying now i lost my train of thought 
but he's a really good baby and yeah so for anyone who's been following our journey over the last five years um, knows all of the loss that we've had um, with our babies from short rib polydactyly which is the gene that Dave and I both carry um, so we had lost um, a baby earlier um, our first pregnancy and then we had three babies that I delivered Liam Nate and Bria and then we actually did IVF with PGD which is um, genetic testing to get our healthy embryos which is how we ended up um, getting Beckett and how he joined our family so it's really crazy still um, you know how to think about how much science can impact our lives and uh, I'm just so grateful that we had the option to do the PGD testing and the IVF so that he could join us safely. Um, we do still have two embryos that are healthy, that are left frozen, and um, obviously we're not really thinking a whole lot about that yet, but um, they are there and we will be giving them a chance at some point in time and hopefully completing our family. But. Um, in the meantime, we're going to enjoy this little big man. Are you going to open your eyes for them? You're going to open your eyes? You're just going to sit there grunting, making noises. <laughs> All right. So um, once again, sorry for the late video, but um, it's sometimes tough to get in motion and actually get ready during the day. So I thought I better get this video up for you guys um, since I've had lots of you asking. And like I've mentioned before, if you do want more frequent updates or pictures of Beck, um, just follow me on Facebook on my page, Elevate Yourself Fitness, because that is where I do most of my posting. Um, we just had, we had some Fresh 48 pictures done of him in the hospital. And we also had a newborn photo shoot. So we have uh, I have a sneak peek up of that um, on my Facebook as well. So that's where I'll mostly be posting, but I'll try to come on here once in a while and give you guys a little update and a little peek at how Beckett is growing. And he is just out now. He's been kind of miserable all morning, so now he's just tired, um, even though, which is good because we're going to go out shopping and attempt our second trip out of the house um, with a baby. It's definitely takes a lot longer to get organized and ready to go, but all right guys. Um, thanks so much for tuning in and checking up on me and on our baby. And I'm so glad that I finally get to introduce you to him. Um, and thank you all so much for the support. Bye guys.